Hi there. This is Catherine Sayo, and I'm the, what am I? I am the founder and current CEO of Lipedema Simplified and Lipedema Project. Welcome. Welcome to our Facebook Live. We're here with Jane Harris. Jane is one of our speakers at our upcoming October Symposium. Hi, Jane. Welcome. Hi, thank you. So nice to be here. It's the first time I've ever done a Facebook Live, so it's exciting. <laughs> thank you. Everyone is kind and gentle, I promise you. I have no doubt. <laughs> yeah, so, um, so I'm so excited to be able to be here with Jane. First of all, I want to just say our symposium, if you want information right above our video, there's a link so you can get more information. Obviously, we want to invite you. We want you to come join us. I'll say it again at, towards the end. But I'm excited about it because we have speakers like Jane. And Jane has been working with us now for, I think it's um, close to two years. How many years? Yeah. A couple of years? Almost a couple of years, yeah. Yeah. And um, she has lost 253 pounds. Mm -hmm. And the reason that, well, first of all, that in and of itself is a remarkable achievement. Thank you. But just incredible. But it's being able to do that in such a way as to be healthy and take care of yourself. So Jane, I'm gonna ask you if you would take us back a few years you had shared with me that you were over 400 pounds. And as all of us know, I also come from big numbers. I was over 300 pounds. And so it's really a challenge to even begin to turn that around. Can you tell us a little bit of what happened and how you got to this whole process? Yeah, yeah, I'd be happy to share that. Um, and it has been a process. <laughs> um, so I, I'm 49. Um, most of my life, I guess, I was overweight as a child, but never obese until I hit maybe late teens, then into my 20s. And then strangely, in my 20s, I seemed to hover in the twos, the 200s. And then, you know, up and down, I, I've had some weight losses in my past, but I just couldn't keep it off. Um, and then in my 30s, I seemed to be in the 300s for some reason. And I was that's where I sat. And that's where I went up and down. And then once I hit 40, um, I got into the fours and that was new territory for me. And my body has been so forgiving. That's one thing that in this, I'll just say the past five years, I think have been the most intense for me for change and for healing, because that's when my body started to say, okay, you know what? I've been good to you for far too long. I think, um, you know, I'm starting to go and break down and, and my mobility was going and that was scary because I, I loved and I love hiking and I love, you know, just living, you know, just walking, functioning day to day. And that was starting to disappear. And I was only 47, 48, even earlier, you know, mid 40s. But so I've always been um, lower body heavy and my hips especially, um, but it, I never, I, I only learned of lipedema as being such a, you know, as, as being a thing um, when I discovered lipedema simplified. And it was only because, I think it was about maybe two and a half years ago, I, I was at my lowest. I was, I think it was my, my highest registered weight on a scale was 460, which I errored out. So I probably was above that, but I was just, I felt in the ground. I was eating horribly. I was like a ball of inflammation, um, you know, and, you know, I was just up and down and it was horrible. I did, I Google searched one day. I remember large, lar small waist, large, lower, large legs or something like that. I was just looking for something to explain what the heck, because I know I've lost I've lost 160. That would be a largest amount I've lost in the past in one range. But I've always put it back. But I noticed that even when I got down to a certain weight, like in the mid twos, 200s, um, I still had 
the pads, the fat pads and the knees and the, you know, the saddlebag, I, I still had that, those deposits on the lower body. And it was always a mystery if this would ever disappear. Um, but so when I, going back, I guess when I Googled in search of other people with bodies like mine, like, why am I so small up here? And I, I lose here and I, you know, but, um, and then I start to see the images coming up and, you know, do you, and the quiz, I think it was, do you have lipedema? And I took it. I'm like, yeah, that's me. <laughs> so it was pretty, um, yeah, it was, it was a turning point for me because then I realized, okay, I, you know, I started to investigate the site and, and read the, you know, what people were saying. And then, I, you know, watching videos and uh, just, it, it just renewed hope that, okay, this is not it for me because I'm not declining like I was headed truly for a wheelchair I know and you can relate I know you've shared that publicly but um I, that you know there's no way there was always hope and I was going to turn it around somehow so little by little pulling in the tools and the resources and the inspiration from people and you know and data and everything you know it just came together so the last yeah the last year and a half has been incredibly a healing year and I, I've lost that weight naturally through keto and intermittent fasting. It's, it just seems to be a combo that's worked for me. And um, yeah, and I, the inflammation, like there's so many changes and lab proven changes that in my health that, you know, I, where do I start? <laughs> well, you know, first of all, the emotion that you had is so common. I get so many phone calls and, emails from people and it's just having a name for it just knowing that it's not our fault that there's something other going on that it is a a, a physical diagnosis there's something actually going on metabolically and that's yeah. so liberating for so many of us um but you started before you came in to Libidema Simplified. How did you start and what was your journey in, in, in your own? Because you had lost uh, quite a bit of weight before you came in to, to work with us. Yes, that's right. Um, I guess, let's see, if I go back to fall of 2019, so I'll say that I was picture myself. So I, I work, I'm an admin assistant in a hospital, community hospital. So I'm working desk work all days. Um, I'm at my highest weight, can barely walk, don't want to get up from my desk, you know, just miserable inside, happy on the outside, you know, but just dying inside. But I hit, I, I was 460 around that time. And I've all, I've dabbled with low carb in the past, like I, I, you know, from reading and learning, you know, different, you know, what it is and what to do and stuff. But so I just, um, I, I kind of hit a rock bottom at that point. I got back from a plane trip and it was the most horrifying, you know, trip because the first time I had to be taken through a, the airport in a wheelchair, I just couldn't walk and I couldn't manage by my, I was by myself for this particular trip. But um, so I just kind of made, I just tried substituting, you know, all the high carbs snacks and stuff I was loading myself with in the morning at work and at break times and eating at my desk constantly. I just started swapping out little, you know, low carb items and high protein items with those things. And um, having green tea, say, like instead of, you know, heavy, heavy, you know, sugary coffees and, and whatnot. Um, so just little changes like that. And I was finding that, um, especially at that high weight, my first week, I dropped quite a lot in that first week. I think I might have actually lost 15 to 20 pounds. And a lot of that was probably liquid. But um, it, it was something and it felt, you know, like it was a huge motivator, like, okay, you know, I, I can I can keep going with this. So I just kept going. It was um, Fast forward to springtime, so maybe March of 2020 or February 2020, I had already lost 50 pounds on my own. So I was in the threes. That was a, you know, that was really happy, you know, happy days in the threes. Um, but still, you know, still struggling. I had up, up and down days where I'd, you know, you know, I'd fall into old habits and 
binge on stuff that I should, you know, I shouldn't have been eating, you know, and just, you know, and I just, I didn't feel like, you know, okay, I need, I still need help. I'm not, not really on the way just yet, but I'm, I'm ahead of the game. So I guess um, in March, um, I, I decided I wanted more guidance on, okay, with keto. And I was so, I've always been interested in intermittent fasting too, but I never really embarked on it, you know, seriously. So in Toronto, there's um, the Toronto Metabolic Clinic, which was started by Dr. Jason Fung, popular guy, um, and a guru for all that stuff. So I looked that up, I got a referral, um, had a, and by this time now, the pandemic was in full steam ahead. It was March, maybe late March. And I started working from home. I was lucky enough to be able to work from home remotely. Um, and I have been ever since. I'm so fortunate for that. But uh, so I got a consultation, you know, did a full lab work, big, you know, there must have been 35, 40 things on that lab sheet. It was wonderful. So I got a good baseline um, and got, you know, saw their, got their program and guidance and then went, you're on, and then I went on my own. So about three months, I guess, three months I checked in and I was committed. Like I didn't turn back. So once I got that and, and the quiet of being working from home, I think that was huge for me too. A whole lot of things played into this, but with the, with the, with the metabolic clinic at that time, um, yeah, I reported back. I I had a substantial loss in that three months already, but um, and then uh, I kept going. But then I was getting more involved with the lipedema site, like with the. I wasn't. I don't even know if I was in the tribe yet at, at that time, or if it was in. If it started mid last. Oh gosh, I, I'm the whole last year is kind of blurry in a lot of yeah, ways. We started. We started the tribe, and you came in very early. Um, the first, um, uh, yeah. we did a founders members launch, which is yeah. was a group of women who we said, you know, you'll be our founders, your charter members, and we are still building it, but come and be with us. And you were one of those ladies. Yes. Yeah. 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 And that was, was right. <laughs> that was just literally the week before the pandemic. And we didn't know the pandemic. I mean, we knew something was happening, but we weren't in lockdown yet. No. And so the whole thing happened in such a way so that we had each other throughout that whole period, which was amazing. And the tribe really continues was. to grow and blossom. You know, we're up to 300 members now. So it's awesome. amazing. Yeah, I love it. I, I'm so happy I jumped in when I did at that time because it's been life changing for me, honestly. And that I remember in June, um, I so there was a, the symposium in June of last year mm -hmm. and um, I registered for that. And that really woke me up too, because I was, you know, really seeing in detail from these wonderful clinicians, you know, biohacking keto and, you know, the things you were presenting and Leslin and all these wonderful inspirational things. So that got me going, that got me wanting to, okay, I want to take this, take this to the next level. And, tweak what I'm doing, like have someone who's an expert really guide me and see, okay, you're doing keto. How can I work in more, you know, in anti-inflammatory? That's what I wanted to focus on too, because I knew I was about, you know, trying to get this inflammation marker, which was way high for so many years down because once that was down, I knew, I just felt everything else is going to fall into place. I'm going to feel calm. My body's going to be calm. And sure enough that and that hap that's where i am at now but um yeah so uh yeah i got coaching through lipedema simplified um wonderful coaching and you know st continued guidance in the forums and from uh, the other members and you know and i try to support too and yeah it's just been a wonderful journey this past year yeah you know, oh it's been remarkable and i'm you know we just asked um, Jane to come and work with us. So she's going to be um, in that process. It'll be a little while, but um, she has so much to share and so much to contribute. And there's always an opportunity for someone who has this kind of background and this kind of success. So um, Jane, you've lost 253 pounds. You're on your way. 
Um, I'm going to again invite everyone. I'm going to put the link. It'll take me just a second to get the link right here. This is the right one. There it is. So um, it's above in the uh, in the uh, description above our video. You will see a link there that you can go to. And just to let you know, um, we have oh. 10 or 12 more Facebook Lives with different speakers who are going to be at the symposium so that you can get a sense of what we're doing. The symposium is a holistic symposium. Our approach is a holistic approach. It's physical, it's mental, psychological, emotional, spiritual, and social. Because with our research and our work with lipedema and lymphatic disorders and fat disorders, it really does take a holistic approach and it does take a community. It takes a, a whole lot of us supporting one another, having each other's back and being able to exchange Q and A and more Q, and more A, <laughs> and what did you do, and what did you do, and how did it yeah. work for you, and that whole process has helped each and every one of us, including me. I learn from everyone all the time, and it's been an amazing process. So, um, oh, the other thing I wanted to tell you <laughs> is that if you register for this symposium, we have a bonus, which is less than Keith's new book is about to be released. It's called the lymphatic code. And it's all about um, what happens, especially with the lymphatic system. And as Jane has mentioned a number of times, we tend to get inflammatory and carbs produces inflammation. There are ways to reverse it. And her book is fabulous. When you register for the symposium, you'll get a free copy of her book. Um, and um, and then it's going to be released in September. Well, it, it is almost September. It's August. Any minute now. <laughs> yeah, any second now. So it's going to be released the end of the month. So um, I'm so glad you joined us. Come back. Um, Lesson's going to be interviewing Sean Mulroney, and he has a fascinating story with lymphedema. Um, and, uh, and Jane, you do not want to miss Jane's entire story, which she will be sharing with us at the symposium. Um, the dates are October 22, 23, and 24. It's a three day symposium this year. Last year was so successful. Two days wasn't enough. So we added the third day. Yeah. Um, I think, I think that's good for today. Thank you, everybody. Um, I'm going to come around and I'll, if you have any questions, be sure to leave them in the comments below. I'll make sure I get to everybody. And if you need anything at all, or you want some, some answers, some questions, you can always get me at Catherine at lipedema simplifiedorg Thank you for being with us, Jane. Thank you so thank much. You. You're an inspiration. And thank you oh so my much. God. I can't and, wait. I can't I'm wait to share stuff. Oh, so <laughs> psyched you're coming to the photo shoot. Oh my God. That's, that's exciting too. That's really exciting. <laughs> we have a special project. It's called the Real You Project. And we have one of the top photographers in the country doing a lipedema lady photo shoot in, in, in New York City and LA. So um, that's a whole other project. Uh, if you want to know anything about it, email me. Have a wonderful rest of your morning, night, afternoon, evening, wherever you are in the world. Bye. Bye, guys. <laughs> Thank you.